Rebecca and we are here for my April favorites video. The first thing that I want to give a huge shout out to is my beautiful tea pigs mug. Just look at that. Ah. I have not been able to stop drinking out of this mug and I've actually had to just set it aside and be like, Becky, you have to use your other mugs. It's not fair. I like to give my mugs equal turns. I don't want any of them feeling jealous. So, <laughs> the next thing has to go in with my tea time. I've been painting my nails a lot this month, more than I usually paint my nails, and I've been using this Pure Ice Nail Polish. Usually I paint my nails and I take it off right away, but this nail polish stays on my nails for a week at a time with barely any chipping, and it's amazing. So the brand is Pure Ice, and the color is Silver Mercedes. So I just wanted to give a shout out to this little nail polish because I'm often drinking my tea while painting my nails and it's just been a relaxing process for me. The next thing, this was in my teas that I want to use up. I talked about this in the last Tea Talk video which was Monday. And it is the Cool Cactus Tea. I know, it kind of feels weird like this is my one of my favorites this month and then it's also a tea I'm trying to use up and get rid of but that's because I want to use it up before it's gone bad and before I can't drink it anymore so the ingredients on this tea are pineapple, rosehip, green tea, strawberry leaf, lemongrass, lily flower, natural and artificial pear, and prickly pear flavorings uh, it says this exotic fruity blend combines green tea with pineapple and prickly pear who knew the dessert could be so refreshing Next thing, I had this in my last video, but you know, I just love it so much, is the Satsuma Body Butter from The Body Shop. It smells absolutely amazing. <sighs> and I put it on in the morning and in the evening when I'm usually drinking tea, so I was like, well, it's kind of part of my tea time activity. So, shout out! The last thing on my favorites for this month is this. Now you're like, no, Becky, what is that? Well, I'm so glad you asked. This is a ceramic container that I got from Crate and Barrel. I got this very, very shortly after I made the How to Properly Store Your Tea video. And it has been waiting to host some tea in it. At the beginning of April, I finally got new tea. Well, not new, I got new tea, but... I repurchased licorice and peppermint tea from Tea Pigs, and uh, look at that. It's so pretty and it fits so perfectly, and I love, 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 love it so much. I love this tea, and something I found out is that you can brew each tea bag, well, at least of this tea, I don't know about uh, other tea picks tea, but at least for the licorice and peppermint, or the licorice and mint, you can brew it two times. And so I was like, I wasted all those cups of tea. So I've not been wasting this, and it's so good, and I can't get over it. And this is probably going to be on my favorites for a long, long, long time. So there you have it. Those are my April favorites for 2015. So what are some of your favorites like? If you guys have a favorites video, put a link below because I definitely want to watch it. And if you guys, what are, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I was trying to say is what teas have you guys really been enjoying? Are there any that's just like, wow, or just like punch you in the face good that you just really enjoyed this month? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys are having an amazing day full of tea and happiness and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye!